Thank you, the viewers, for joining us. You are welcome to Dignity TV. Please, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, do us a favor by clicking on subscribe button and notification posts. You can also follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Our topic today is on kidnapping and killing in Nigeria. The rates at which people are being kidnapped and killed in Nigeria is quite alarming and need every dissenting voice. In today's Nigeria, especially in Northern Nigeria, Parents are scared of sending their children to school because of fears of being kidnapped. People are scared of traveling through the road in Nigeria today because of fears of kidnapped. There is no day passes by without motorists being kidnapped in Nigeria. Farmers are no longer go to farm because of kidnapping incidents. And the price of food is nothing to talk about. There is too much hunger in the land because of these kidnapping incidents. There are secessionists everywhere in Nigeria due to these kidnapping incidents. And how did we get to this particular point? It's what I always sit down to think. And I know it's what is going to every Nigerian mind. We get to this point because governments are not doing anything about this kidnapping. In fact, governments are not being taking this kidnapper serious. Maybe it's simple because the kidnappers cannot kidnap them or maybe because these kidnappers cannot kidnap their children since they are all in our blood but they have forgotten that these monsters will one day swallow everybody if it's not being taken care of these people are committing crime against humanity and government is turning blind eye on them maybe because they are from particular ethnic group is this a country we want absolutely no this is not the type of nation we want we don't want a country that our children cannot go to school without us being afraid that they will be kidnapped. We don't want a country that we won't be saved. So, you should not even bring any particular group that is fighting for the vision of Nigeria. Because governments are the root cause of everything. There is no even a police to protect the masses in Nigeria today. Police are being assigned to the rich in French and the government officials because of fears of kidnapping. And the army, the soldiers that were supposed to be fighting for these kidnappers also are being sent to kill innocent Nigeria who are fed up of the situation and resort to freedom fighter instead of focusing their attention on what is causing this kidnapping on what is causing this secessionist Nowhere none is safe in Nigeria. 
some days back one of the most fortified place was invaded by these kidnappers NDA Nigeria Defense Academy is one of the most secure places in Nigeria and these kidnappers penetrate the place and kill at least three senior military officers and left unharmed. So tell me, you a politician or you a rich and influential Nigeria who are guiding yourself with thousands of police today? Do you think you are safe if NDA can be able to penetrate by this kidnapper, these monsters, these criminals? Do you think you are safe? And we are all keeping quiet. Some days back, I was watching an interview conducted to a governor of Kaduna State. And he, he, he was just talking about these kidnapper, kidnappers. And he's comparing them with secessionist group. The government were able to cram down on secessionist group because they know who they are. But they don't know who the kidnappers are. That they are individuals, that they are just like a masked man who doesn't have a chain of command. So I was like being ashamed of myself, of what a sitting governor is talking. And this particular governor, his state is one of the focus of this topic. This NDA we are talking about is in his state, in Kaduna State. Thousands has been killed in his state. And this the same man has forgotten that there is many times government has negotiated with these kidnappers. The same kidnappers that they don't know who they are. This man has also forgotten that a man called Alaji Shehu Kumi, which every Nigerian has known, has been going to these kidnapping dens, negotiating with them for the release of their abductees. And he's telling us that they don't know who they are. And the man has also confirmed many times that government knows about his negotiation with kidnappers. During this, I heard that they are even sending account number for people to pay ransom. So if they are sending account number for people to pay ransom, government cannot be able to track them down. We are no longer a baby and should not be telling all form of lie. Government should declare national emergency on kidnapping and cramp those people down. This is a crime against humanity. The children are being molested and raped every day and they are not doing anything about it. They are being killed every day. And they are busy going about going after innocent Nigerians who are fed up of the situation. It doesn't matter on a particular tribe that is committing this crime. You are a president. You are a father of nation. You belong to no particular tribe and should treat everybody equal. And should treat everybody equal. What sort of nonsense is this? President Muhammad Buhari 
I'm sure you haven't forgot that. Why you are being elected is because of this kidnapping incidents. The outcry of shipwork kidnapping on 14th April 2014 brought you into the seat you are today. People voted for you because of this kidnapping incident. Nigeria outcry and world outcry brought you into this government. So you do not have any excuse to neglect this particular incident that brought you to the seat. Today, thousands are being kidnapped. There is no day passes by without at least 13 people being kidnapped in Nigeria. And what are you waiting as a president to declare it national emergency and tackle these kidnappers? This is a crime against humanity. You have to do something. That's why you are elected. And this is your second tenor. People have been waiting, waiting, waiting. So you have nothing to complain about. We need all hands in deck to make sure that Nigeria are safe for our people. That Nigerians are safe for our children. That people can go to farm. We can't keep on keeping quiet. Something needs to be done. And if you're a government and you, you're not capable of doing something, then you step down. Because you're elected to be a leader, to read us. So you have to read in a positive atmosphere, in a positive way. So I urge you to please, please do something. Something is getting out of hand. We can't wait until Nigeria becomes Afghanistan. Do something, please. Thank you for joining us, the viewer. We love you so much. And please, do not forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Join us on Twitter. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We love you so much. And have a nice day.